this is my favorite slide of my whole uh, collection. You can see Professor Grunzik in the back, and this is just after he's done his third or fourth angioplasty in the world. And he's visited by a, a bunch of people uh, from around the world. You can see Professor Grunzik is also experimenting with that other cardiovascular therapy, red wine. Um, but uh, in the front, the guy that's labeled was a Stanford trainee in cardiology named John Simpson. And uh, John has the pictures of the procedure in front of him, and, and uh, he's thinking to himself, you know, that catheter system you've uh, designed uh, is just not, it's kludgy, it just doesn't work. And uh, John Simpson went home and in a kitchen a couple of miles from us here in Menlo Park, uh, developed this catheter, which is a much more uh, easy to use. The, the key insight he had was that you should use a guide wire to travel down into the coronary artery. So he uh, developed this prototype literally in his kitchen, and then he um, went to Dr. Fogarty and got some money to do a startup, and they didn't have quite enough money between them, and so uh, at a Stanford football game, there, there was a fellow parking cars, a man named Ray Williams, who had co-founded Amdahl and had some money and was sort of a prototype uh, Silicon Valley angel. And between the three of them, they put together the money to start a company called ACS, uh, which grew into Guidant. You may recognize this building from 101, but Guidant is, is a multi-billion dollar uh, vascular company that started off of this uh, inside of John Simpson's.